Have you ever wondered how the wheat from the field ends up in the bread of your sandwich? How the milk gets from the cow to the carton? Or how canola got its name? Our quest for the answers to these questions and more has led us to the Conrich area on the eastern outskirts of Calgary. It's here we find the man known as Farmer Dave. Hi there, my name is Dave Lance. I'm a fourth generation farmer from the Conrich area. My uh, great granddad uh, homesteaded here in the early 1900s and uh, uh, we've carried on the tradition. My uh, granddad was here for a while, and my father and, and now me. So I've uh, been a grain and cattle farmer here for all my life, so, which is more years than I care to remember. In 2007, Dave joined forces with the Calgary Stampede to create the Ask Farmer Dave program. The purpose was to teach urban dwellers about agriculture and life on the family farm. Farmer Dave was created uh, through the Ag Education Committee at the Calgary Stampede, and our idea was to um, show, well, once again, a term I've used a lot, our urban cousins, where their food comes from and just what goes on on the farm. And, and when they drive by and see those uh, machines in the field, just we, what each one of those machines is doing, and, and we've done some school visits in the past, and one of the favorite things the kids liked was I would bring heads of wheat in and let them shell the wheat out and chew the wheat until it turned into gum. It's fun things I take for granted. People just don't, don't know. There's nowhere to go to a farm anymore. You know, a lot of people, there's no grandpas, no uncles on the farm anymore. Farms are larger and fewer and farther between, so it uh, gives the you know, like I said, the urban folks and the opportunity to see where their food comes from. Today we, we don't seed the traditional ways we used to seed. We, we, uh, we don't work the, the ground before we go in. It's called one pass seeding. So this machine is capable of seeding into plaster stubble. Uh, it's a very accurate machine, has very good depth control. Today we're seeding barley. Uh, We'll seed uh, approximately 120 pounds per acre of barley, which in farmer lingo is about two and a half bushel. Primarily this crop that we're going to use here is, is for cattle feed. I guess back more to, to how we do our one pass seeding. The way we do it here is our fertilizer spread on top. We, we uh, go with the drill afterwards to cover it up. The ground is, is sprayed earlier to take care of any weed control issues that we may have rather than in the old days we used to, to cultivate first which means we killed the uh, weeds with a tool called a cultivator usually or disc. So now we've changed so we don't have to work the ground so much. Uh, leaving the stubble stand like this is uh, good for several things, uh, it prevents soil erosion completely plus it holds the moisture in which is which is a very, very valuable with, uh, for us. Without rain, we, we can only do what we can do. We need Mother Nature to rain on us, so. We will uh, put down some nutrients, nitrogen, phosphate, and then uh, we'll seed our barley into the ground. And uh, we use this machine, uh, which is capable of handling straw, and uh, uh, it carries a large amount of seed, so it becomes very efficient. And with the advent of a Roundup, tillage has become less and less important, which has pretty much changed the face of farming and soil erosion. They travel at pretty close to 30 kilometers an hour when he's, when he's applying. Everything that we're using here today has GPS in it, so um, like this drill, for instance, is, is accurate to centimeters, and so there's no overlap of seed, fertilizer. Same thing when we're, when we're fertilizing. Uh, he knows exactly where he's going, so there's no overlap. Uh, we go to our sprayer, same thing. It's, it's, they're very, very accurate, so fertilizer is expensive, chemicals is expensive, so we try to be as efficient as we can, and uh, it's like everything else, you, you know, you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. During harvest, Dave's three daughters return home to pitch in with the chores. There's days when it's, there's been me and the, the three daughters in, uh, uh, in the field, so running combines, etc. So it's, it's a family thing and, and plus the fellas that for it are longtime friends and uh, associates and it's kind of a family business as well. So I mean the farms have got bigger but most of the farms are still uh, family oriented. We salute farmer Dave Lance for sharing his time and knowledge to help bridge the urban and rural divide.